my eye is it done okay my eye has been twitching for like weeks and um I don't know what to do. Usually that means that I've been looking at my computer screen or like screens in general too long. Like I haven't been sleeping enough. Life doesn't allow me to stop. So we're just gonna deal with an eye twitch for now. Um, this video is going to be a little catch all of things that I'm doing currently. I am reaching my panic mode. Calm down everybody outside. Um, before a, a trip, especially an international one, from the second I book my ticket, it, even if I booked my ticket like three months in advance, I'm going to be feeling like the trip is happening like next week. So I'm in this like weird panic mode where I feel like I don't have enough time. I literally, I have less than a month. Okay, so there's that. But I just, I have things that I need to do. I have enough time to do it all but my heart and my brain are like, no, no, you do not. So this video is just gonna be a little bit of a mess of me working through that. I'm not moving. Um, for some reason, anytime I mention like going back to America, people think that that's forever. And while I do plan to move back to America or at least move out of Korea at some point, um, it's not in the future that I can see. So I'm just going home to um, help my parents move. I'm gonna, there's gonna be a lot more information coming soon. Um, but yeah, this morning I booked my tickets, I'm going home. What I'm doing today and this weekend um, that I want to bring you along on the journey for is, I mentioned it in a previous video, but I'm once again for the thousandth time in the, what is it now, over 10 years that I have like been starting learning Korean. I'm going to dive into studying again in earnest. I'm just feeling inspired and even if this only lasts for a little bit, a little bit of improvement is great. And I've talked about this in other videos where I've talked about studying Korean, is that because I'm constantly starting and stopping, starting and stopping, starting and stopping, I'm good, like I'm such a good beginner. <laughs> I have to do so much review because I've forgotten or like I'm a little rusty with some things. So I'll go through and I'll review a ton of stuff that I know and then by the time I've, I'm done reviewing, I'm like so tired of studying. And that's when I get frustrated and I'm like, well, these words are really hard and like the grammar is really difficult and I won't use them in a everyday conversation. So like, I'm just gonna forget it. So why bother learning? That's like the evil carry in my head. So I know that I have to go back and review, but I also know that evil cycle of me going back to review all that stuff by the time I get to the place where I am and I have to learn new things, I'm gonna be tired. <sighs> I started reading a webtoon, um, which is fun and easy to do. And so I took, a, I wrote down like everything that I did there. Yeah, today I was just kind of like deciding what I wanted to do. So now I'm going to finish that webtoon. I'm going to quickly skim the talk to me in Korean levels and just see how much of that previous grammar I don't feel comfortable with. Um, and then as a treat, what I'm doing is I'm watching, like I, I did this back, back in the old days in like 2011 maybe. Um, I was big into Infinite and Infinite had this TV show called Sesame Player, I think. And they would just like play pranks and like run away from their managers and like do stupid stuff. But it was so fun to watch but then I also was learning Korean and like listening. And for some reason, if infinite says a word, I'm going to remember the word much better than like a teacher. <laughs> so I'm going to then watch um, TXT Tomorrow by Together has a little TV show that they make. Um, and so I'm going to treat myself at the end of this with an episode of that. This was a very long intro, but um, today is just going to be a rainy study day. Um, tomorrow, I think Kurt and I are going on a little trip and then Sunday I'm gonna get my hair cut. Um, yes, <laughs> that's what's in store. Time to study. <laughs>
Tomorrow, I think Kurt and I are going on a little trip. Still don't fix it Don't throw it out I'm scared I'll miss it Where are you going? Please may I follow Your new heart's grown fonder As mine stays hollow A bright red salmon swimming the current to get my hair cut and I got my hair just trimmed in January I think it was um, but I'm gonna go hopefully let me take my hair out um, hopefully just get it kind of permed again and I'm gonna ask if I can do also I have like can you see this line I have like a scar on my face like just an indent I don't know where it came from anyway it's been there for two days we're not gonna worry about it. Um, so I'm gonna ask if he can do just a perm, like right to here, because really I just, it's just like right up here that I have like strangely curly hair. Once again, I love all types of hair. I would just like my hair to choose one. I have like very curly hair right here and then wavy, and then it kind of gets straight usually when it gets longer. Anyway, so I'm gonna have Dean hopefully figure it out, figure out my baby hairs are finally like almost not baby hairs anymore. So we're gonna see what we can do about that. I don't know. Um, so we're gonna head to Hongdae and see Dean. It's been a year, so let's go. Wow, it's really been a long time because I don't know where I am.
So I ended up, where am I? I ended up only getting a perm on the bottom bit of my bangs. They call it the face line um, because that's really where the curl is. And it seems like because I've had two perms before, um, my natural waves that bother me have kind of decided to get in line and behave. So um, I decided to just try that, that this time instead of like putting a lot of chemicals on my entire head. So we'll see how that goes. And now I'm gonna find Kurt who waited so very patiently. Um, they were so busy today and they're known that this salon is known for doing like dye jobs. Um, so like long projects and um, they had every chair full and they were juggling every single chair. Um, so oftentimes I just kind of had to wait for free hands to like cut my hair. Um, so Kurt waited very patiently in a cafe. I'm gonna find him and we aren't hungry. We don't know what to do. We're the couple that doesn't do anything other than eat. So um, I'll update you, but I need to check where he is because he's on the move. Whenever I tell him to stay put, I'll find you. He just starts walking around. So <laughs> um, I'm gonna go hunt him down and I'll update you when I find him. Bye. met up with you on Sunday when I got my hair cut and yesterday Monday I went to a really cool new city that I'm gonna take you to it felt really nice to like do another one of those discovering a new city kind of videos again um, and I had a lot of fun so that's what I did yesterday and this morning um, lots of going on if you can't tell by the noises air conditioners on I just worked out which is why I probably look really shiny um, and I'm doing laundry I was editing and now I'm going to sit down and study I'm gonna do my fun studying I'm gonna watch an episode um, of it's called to do um, I actually didn't when I talked to you in the beginning of this video about what I was watching um, I ended up just watching kind of like interviews and stuff like that but now I'm going to properly start watching the TV show Kurt hates this because I'm learning kind of sassy Korean because like on a show like this where they're talking to their friends they're like fellow co-workers their colleagues um, they're sassy and funny and using panma and like really the only people I can talk to in that way is Kurt at this point because I'm not super I'm not sassy in Korean with my Korean friends um, only Kurt so he's a little annoyed by the vocabulary that I am throwing at him um, but it's been it's been great in my um, what's it called 
what am I trying to say? Focus, speak English. In my webtoon, the webtoon I was reading is called Device. I don't know, it was just like one of the more popular ones. It's about AR and VR and stuff like that. And so they're, they use the word reality a lot. So like virtual reality or augmented reality, etc. The word reality is hyunshil and I swear to God, I, I never saw that word until I started studying using that webtoon and now it's following me like it shows up in lyrics everywhere I go it showed up somewhere super weird it's so funny when you're studying and you're actually paying attention like so many words just kind of fly past you and you don't notice um and then once you learn it you're like dang is that has that been there the whole time I'm having many of those moments but um so it's just been um it's been very rewarding to have a couple new vocabulary words in my arsenal and to uh walk around and actually see them in use how great so anyway i'm like i said i'm gonna study and um this vlog is going to end probably tomorrow strangely enough when i shower because i want to update you on the hair situation so what happens with the perm if you haven't seen my other videos um is that I'm not supposed to wash my hair. I think it's three days. So I'm going to wash my hair on Wednesday. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna look natural is what we're hoping. And um, so far so good. It has held up through insane heat yesterday. It held up through a workout just now. So um, yeah, I will let you know on Wednesday. I'm gonna wash my hair, let it air dry and show you what that's like. And um, yeah, so anyway, enough dilly dallying i am uh, gonna study so case end point case end point case end point um of words i knew but didn't know pengi so somebody is walking in and he's spinning and so they're saying pengi ro ipjang he's coming in like a spinning top so a pengi is a top Pengi, like pengi basat. It's a common mushroom. It's one of my favorite mushrooms, in fact, and I never really thought about what pengi meant, so now I know. Which came first, the pengi or the pengi basat? I don't know. But anyway, learning! <laughs> the things I have written down. Okay, ready? What's the difference between minmanghada and bukuro? Bukurota. Checkmate! <laughs> a lot of times it both you use for the same context, so it's hard to distinguish. Changmun taki usu. Some of these are things that I know, but I just like to have it written down. Bulan hande. Bulan hande. Bulan hande. Bolchiki nobnun gojo. It's a very important question to know. I couldn't hear what you said. Bolchiki nobnun gojo. Yes. There's no penalty. Something to to know. Good. Everything else I'm confident is correct. Kongbu kut neer boja. 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 Okay, the fan that takes forever to turn off. So it is, it has been, what's today? Today's actually Friday. Um, and I took a shower last night and this is the result. Um, I fell asleep with my hair still damp, and then I went on a walk this morning, so I have a little bit of a hat indent. It is what it is. Um, but this is it. It maintained my natural slash not natural curl. This might be the remnants of the perm that I got in July, maybe, last year. And then I, like I said, just permed the face line, is what Dean called it. Um, and so as you can see this this let me tell you these little baby hairs when i would let them just air dry they would always be like this like weird like just perfect c kind of thing that was really my only 
issue but it still looks natural because it has a slight wave because he only really did the interior <laughs> i suppose um so i'm very happy with it this is this is what i wanted like this is where because of my weird little c thing i would just straighten like just that part and then be out the door and i was done and that was fine um so now i don't have to do that anymore because i don't like using heat on my hair ever i'm also just lazy um so this is the result and um so yeah i've still got like this going on I don't know that's that so oh i have a blister holy smokes so anyway thank you to dean again um i will link his website down below people asking about prices um they are always updated and whatever on his website in english um and yeah i am very pleased like literally these two little pieces of hair um are the things that give me the most hair stress like throughout my entire life so um it's very nice to just have this wake up head out even after a sweaty morning walk i look like this um so it's worth the money to do it once a year for me um so anyway i am going to leave you here i'm going to be filming a video for my book channel if this outfit looks familiar in the future to you guys um and is that it? Oh, I'm so excited for our next video because I basically went to the south of France yesterday. Um, Kyla and I took a little trip to, I have a bug bite too, oh my god, um, took a little trip to Gangwondo and um, it, it was incredible and amazing and beautiful and I can't wait to show you. So um, I will see you guys next time and is that all? Yeah. Thank you for joining me. This video was a weird mix of things. I do hope to once I kind of get in my studying groove. Um, I hope we can do more like study with me videos or something like that. Um, but for now, I'm just kind of throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks because the thing about studying, the best studying you can do is the studying that you actually do. Um, it doesn't matter how often you like stare at a textbook and don't absorb anything. Um, you need to find the thing that works for you and the thing that you will actually continuously do. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys are all doing really well. We are having some crazy thunderstorm weather, like the monsoon season is coming. Um, so I hope you're okay with rainy vlogs until I go to America for a little bit. Um, so yeah, I will catch you guys later. I don't know how to finish this vlog, so ciao, bye. <laughs>